The Broncos handed Gonzaga its first WCC defeat, 77-72, last Thursday in Santa Clara. It was the first win by the Broncos over a nationally ranked opponent in seven years. Freshman Tess Heal scored 16 points to lead the Broncos, while three other Broncos reached double figures in scoring. The Zags are tied for first place in the WCC, now with Portland, after the Pilots took care of business last week in the Bay Area. They beat San Francisco 83-80 to in overtime, and they won at Santa Clara 80-68. Alex Fowler leads the WCC in scoring at 18.4 points a game, and she scored her 2,000th career point this past week. WCC fans won't have to wait too long to see who is in first place in the standings because Gonzaga and Portland will square off in Spokane this Saturday at 1 o'clock in a game that can be seen on the WCC regional sports networks. Neither team plays on Thursday, so they will remain tied for first heading into Saturday's matchup. Pacific's Liz Smith is on a roll right now. The junior guard averaged 18 points in two road wins last week, and the Tigers are currently enjoying a three-game winning streak. Smith is averaging during that time 14.2 points per game right now for the year, and she has scored 15 points or more in the last four games. After taking down BYU by the score of 52-49, San Diego has won three in a row to climb into a tie for third place with the Cougars in the WCC. BYU's Lauren Gustin, the nation's leading rebounder at 16.4 rebounds per game, kept doing her thing, earning her 22nd double-double this season. But USD's Ayana Kafani scored 18 points and Kiara Oakry capped a 13-point effort by hitting a tie-breaking three-pointer with 31 seconds left to get the win for the Toreros.